Hello Minions, Wheezy here, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to get the two biggest pain in the ass loot boxes for the Warzone Trick or Treat event, that being Dam and Superstore. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the first thing that I want to touch on is the mode that I did this in and the one that I would recommend you do this in is going to be Plunder Candy Collector. The reason why being you get to do respawns and so it gives you more of an opportunity to revisit these locations more easily if you die. And I also want to draw attention to the fact that I turned squad fill on don't fill. The reason being if you are in a squad, um, unless it's a squad you're actually working with specifically to do this, um, if you're just with randoms, then whenever you die, no matter where you are, where you are on the map, you will respawn near that squad, which can make it harder for you to get to where you're going. Because if you're headed to a location like Superstore or Dam, and you die by yourself in that squad, then you will respawn near where you died. So that's where I'll, I'll suggest you start out. And now let's get into the tips for how to actually get these two damn loot boxes. So this first clip is the one that I have that shows me actually getting the damn uh, box, the damn damn box. Uh, you see I have my target initially set for Superstore here. I was down to just, as you can see on this list, the last two for damn and Superstore. Um, a lot of people were dropping to Superstore on this one, so I decided to go to the dam. Uh, the marker that I set at dam is on this building to the side, which can be a good place to drop. It's one of two that I would suggest, but not the primary one. Um, the reason being, it's less crowded. If you look at that larger building on the left, that's where most people will rush to to try and get the dam loot boxes. Um, this building right here, where this guy just landed on top of and jumps into, um, will have one or two loot boxes in it, one upstairs and one downstairs. Uh, as you'll see here, I got freaking owned by a guy who was there. There are a lot of people after these last loot boxes because in Dam and Superstore, there are only a few boxes in those locations and it's random when you get them. So you could, have, you could open three, four, five loot boxes before you find it. So it's really busy. Um, the place I would recommend actually, so is here at the fire station. I was, not thinking I would be able to come and find this just because it's already been several seconds and uh, typically these places get looted super fast because a lot of people are after this stuff right now. I even found a guy here. You saw there was a guy dead on the roof already. So these are hotly contested locations. Um, I can hear the box, but I'm running around looking for it. I, I'll figure out that it's up in the top of the tower now. So there's usually one box down in the fire station and one up in the tower. They count as dam, and so they do give you a chance to unlock the loot for this area, um, even though, again, it's not guaranteed. So um, here you'll find that I get the loot box here. Uh, and then... <laughs> As a little bit of a celebration bonus, I hear a sniper that I get to go after, but you'll see the fire when you get it. If you've gotten to this point, you've probably already been finding a bunch of loot boxes because you're wondering why these two are so much harder to get. Um, so what I would suggest again is I would check this place first if the drop allows it. Um, otherwise, the building I dropped in initially is a good second option. Then it's really just kind of a cluster trying to get to everything else. Um, I would wager that this house I'm running by right here also counts as dam, so you might check that too if you drop a firehouse and it doesn't drop. Um, but for Dam, that ended up being the winning combination for me is finding those locations because before that, I was just trying to rush into the big building with everyone else and fight for those boxes and it just was not super successful. So I get to assassinate this sniper up here and uh, celebrate unlocking this loot box. Uh, so we'll move on to Superstore next, but uh, yeah, those are, those are my suggestions for getting Dam. And, and again, if Dam gets looted and you're really like in a hurry, to, by this time going to Superstore is going to be too late because um, it'll be completely looted already. So if you don't get it, leave the game and join a new one because it's just, you know, you're, you're going after these loot boxes like I was. That's just the best way to go. So for Superstore, I'm going to show you a couple of clips. This first one here is when I was trying to figure out an actual technique for reliably getting some loot boxes in Superstore because it is also very, he very heavily trafficked. Not just because Superstore is always busy in Warzone, but because, again, people are really trying to get these trick-or-treat loot boxes. Um, so this is the last one I had to get. I dropped in over on this side. Um, and moved to the front door and that's going to be obviously a very busy place as you'll see here when I come around the corner and there's just people flying in from everywhere trying to get in the front door. Um, so I would not suggest trying to come to the front door. Uh, instead, I will show you the place that I prefer. So looking at the map, if you 
mark this southeast corner. You don't have to necessarily mark it once you've been there a couple of times, you'll know where it is. But um, this is what I found to be the best place for me to successfully get into Superstore and uh, get access to some loot boxes. They don't always, as you're aware, probably, they don't always spawn in the same place, but there are a couple of common spots near this entrance where you can find boxes pretty quickly that if you drop right on this door and get in it, you will have a chance to get a couple of these loot boxes before everybody rushes in and murders you. So just like with Dam, this is the same kind of situation. Once you've dropped into Superstore and got your chance to try and look for a couple of boxes and it's all looted over, just leave and come back to a new fresh map because after the first, I'd say 30 to 45 seconds, you're not gonna find anything. So look at all of the people streaming in on Superstore here. This is very much what you'll see right now. Um, but if you drop in, figure out where this door is like I do and bust straight in there, people will be outside fighting while you're looking for some boxes. So usually there's one that might spawn in that corner. One can spawn here. I did not get the unlock there. Um, people are fighting. So the next thing I would recommend is to pop your dead silence, which you'll spawn with by default on this map, and then just essentially start running through Superstore, listening for loot boxes. I think I can hear one at this point. No, actually in this clip, I think I only, oh yeah, I did find a second one. Um, and this did not happen either, but it had a nice jump scare. So uh, again, once you uh, once you get into the building, check those places, pop your dead silence, and try and run and find a more loot boxes. Um, and then, you know, once it's been looted over, just quit and try again. So this clip I'm gonna show you here is the one where I actually finally get the unlock. I probably did this drop uh, specifically just to this door five or six times uh, before I got the loot unlock. But doing this drop um, location was much more successful at me even finding loot boxes than dropping anywhere else around Superstore. So I would definitely recommend going in this door. There, no box. Running in, no box there. Pop dead silence. And now I'm just listening for loot boxes and people. I'm not worried about killing anyone, so that guy got downed. This guy got downed. I'm just moving on because I'm looking for boxes. There's one in behind the coke machine here. That's not it. I hear just gunshots going off, but I'm after crates. I'm after loot here, so don't spend your time trying to fight or you will miss out on an opportunity to actually find these boxes. And there, finally, <laughs> as I'm doing the tea bag because I'm so happy I'm finally done with this. This, uh... <laughs> definitely falls into the realm of a lot of things that are, are bad about some of these games and Infinity Ward is probably as guilty as most people who do this kind of like seasonal content. Um, oftentimes they make the content so that it is a pain in the ass to unlock and you end up having to do things that aren't very fun uh, in order to finally unlock it. So we'll, uh, as I exit out, it's going to go back and I'll, I'll show you now that I've unlocked everything, the trick or treat is complete and I can sh I'll show you the uh, the weapon that I unlocked um, and I'll also go back and show you the watch that was unlocked from going to dam but yeah it, doing the trick-or-treating started out as very fun because you just went to different locations on the map and you're opening random loot boxes and every once in a while you get this piece of loot and you get to move around and it was a whole lot of fun until I got down to these last two and it was just like I I was dropping into games and um, initially kind of having fun and oh I didn't find the loot this time and then I would play through the rest of the game and realize that really the loot boxes are only available in those locations for about 30 seconds or 45 seconds and then you're, the rest of the game is 20 minutes and unless you have other war zone challenges you're trying to complete or you know you're enjoying playing plunder which I don't particularly um, then it's really just taking a lot of time to do something that ends up being very tedious so um, that's why I wanted to make this video because I figured if I had this problem, more people probably had this problem, you'll probably have this problem. So I really liked the skin on this gun. Normally I probably wouldn't even bother um, trying to unlock something like this, but that, you know, orange and black is kind of my thing. <laughs> and uh, this is a, a relatively school, cool skin, so I wanted it and doing the trick-or-treating stuff was pretty fun to start out with. And then it got to the point where there was a couple left and I'm like, well, I'm not going to stop here <laughs> just because of these two. Um, I I had another, uh, I was playing around with, with camos here. I'll probably skip ahead and show you. Um, there was one skin that, uh, I don't even skip that. I'll just walk through it. One skin that I really liked uh, building this, and I don't know exactly where I got the unlock for it, but you'll see as I start going through 
the different attachments in the uh, gunsmith that that there's some <laughs> there's one variant of the growl that apparently has a bunch of blood on it which works really well for this Halloween one so uh, I wanted to go back to the Archangel, Archangel barrel and it's this Ufaga <laughs> Oofga, that uh, if you have that build, if you have that br blueprint unlocked, and I'm not entirely sure where you get it, um, it it really makes this thing look Halloweeny in a really cool way. Um, so basically, what I took was this skin, and I wanted to go ahead and just build out uh, my Warzone skin as close to this as I could, uh, and just see what it looked like. And I was kind of pleasantly surprised to find out how uh, how well this turned out. So so yeah, if this is something you guys are having trouble with. Um, be sure to you know to follow this these tricks and and go to these places and let me know if it's if it's helpful for you hopefully this will help you knock it out in 15 or 20 minutes instead of several hours like it was going to take for me um and yeah here's a you know this relatively grisly looking cool build that uh i was able to put together so it was worth the effort at the end of the day but i kind of wish they wouldn't put these tedious unlocks into these seasonal games but Anyway, uh, that's all for me uh, for today. And uh, if you guys got some value out of this, you know, like it. If you want more stuff like this or check out some of my other videos, subscribe so you get new stuff from me. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. See you.